it was really a matter of time before we had this discussion, but it's gone on for too long now that I can't leave it unaddressed anymore. This video is probably going to be pretty unscripted and just from the top of my head, but I really, really want to talk about this whole Kendrick Drake beef situation. For those of you that aren't hip-hop fans, I will give you the rundown of this beef and sort of give you a timeline, and then after that, I'll get into my thoughts, who I think is winning, we all know who's winning, and sort of just my thoughts on each track in general. So. Let's hop right in here. So back in March, Future and Metro Boomin dropped their collab album, We Don't Trust You, which had a surprise Kendrick Lamar feature, basically saying, screw the big three, it's just big me, I'm the best rapper in the game, and I don't know why you name drop me in your first person shooter song. Now J. Cole caught some strays from this, it wasn't really aimed at him. Kendrick wanted Drake here. But in the coming weeks, J. Cole was, I believe, the first person to respond with his 7-Minute Drill song, which he later apologized for releasing, which looks like a really good decision in hindsight. So J. Cole responded to the diss, apologized, that was all said and done, but Drake was still out there without a response yet at this point. Finally, Drake responded with a song called Push Ups, which was a really good, just uh, overall good diss track that kind of just threw insults at Kendrick, called him small, and it also addressed like 10 other rappers and producers. But it was a really good track, just a fun diss track. Everything was still in good spirits up to this point. Kendrick hadn't responded for a couple days after this, and then Drake put his foot on the pedal again with another diss track, but this time he used AI features from Snoop Dogg and Tupac, which obviously was gonna get to Kendrick's head and get him to release a response. Given Kendrick's close ties to the West Coast, there was no way he was gonna let someone get away with this. And even though I think using Using AI in a diss track is an awful thing to do. This was actually a really good chess move by Drake, and it did eventually elicit a Kendrick response. So now this is about a week, week and a half after Drake dropped that tailor-made freestyle, which is the song with the Tupac and Snoop Dogg features, and Kendrick drops Euphoria, which once again, still in good spirits, attacking things we kind of already know about Drake, but the double and triple entendres and overall writing of the song was fantastic and definitely kind of blew push-ups out of the water in my opinion. But up to this point, nothing was really personal yet. Kendrick was just attacking Drake's character character uh same thing drake was doing to kendrick on push-ups and nothing was like it totally insane yet now two days after kendrick had a line in euphoria that says back to back i like the record i'm gonna get back to that for the record referencing drake's old diss track to meek mill and kendrick playing on the fact that he has multiple more diss tracks in his pocket so i think euphoria came out last tuesday and kendrick dropped another song the following friday called 616 in la this is one of the only ones he didn't release on dsps it was just out on his instagram basically another warning to drake to be like hey don't drop anything i have a lot more heat left in the tank and you do not want the smoke there were a ton of meanings in the song title for example 616 is a play on father's day and we all know what happened in 2018 with drake and being a father Kendrick also mentioned that maybe OVO is working for him, Drake's label, and we would we would learn more about that in the coming hours. So, same day Friday, Drake drops a song around 11 p.m. Eastern Time called Family Matters, and immediately as he dropped this track, I was kind of worried where this whole beef was going. Now, Family Matters was a really, really strong diss track. Drake rapped like his life depended on it, and he also threw some serious allegations at Kendrick, saying that he um, has domestic abuse against his wife that he's been hiding. And we'll get into a lot of allegations within this beef that are kind of unproven, but we'll see what happens in the coming days. So at this point, I was kind of like, okay, Drake kind of tied things up here because i would put family matters on the level of euphoria i think they're like on the same level but what happened an hour later is hip-hop history this was absolutely insane what went down friday night and i'm so happy that i was still awake to experience it so about an hour after drake dropped family matters which also showcased a video crushing the good kid mad city van probably just a replica of it but regardless but not even an hour after i heard the track i just opened up youtube on my phone i was about to go to bed and i see kendrick dropped another song called meet the grams 
And this is when things got absolutely insane. Listening to Meet the Grams is one of the scariest, eeriest, most vicious experiences I've ever heard in my life. This song felt borderline illegal to listen to. It was so menacing and scary, and the way Kendrick rapped wasn't even, like, aggressive, but just, like, his calm mannerisms and warnings to Drake's family being like, I hate that you raised this guy. Just pure seething hatred in Kendrick's voice this is gonna go down in history regardless if the allegations are true or not as probably one of the best most scathing diss tracks of all time Kendrick reveals a lot about Drake some things that have been talked about before but never really uh, pushed to surface level such as his involvement with minors saying OVO has sex traffickers in its camp and also revealing that Drake has a daughter out there somewhere. I didn't really see that last one as a serious allegation, but if, if you look at like the certified lover boy album cover, then like maybe Drake does have a daughter out there somewhere. Just every line of Meet the Grams hits so hard, it's so uncomfortable to listen to. I don't think it's a song people are gonna go back to often, but just the pure shock and things Kendrick was saying basically giving a death wish to Drake felt so scary and at this point I was kind of concerned that this beef was about to turn violent just because if these allegations as serious as they are are true that Drake might like try to do some shit to protect himself but a day after that Kendrick didn't even take his foot on the gas about 24 hours later he released another diss track called not, not like us and this song was more of a party song and it basically just seemed like drake er, excuse me it basically just seemed like kendrick was dancing over drake's dead body it has a club beat from dj mustard and it really just seems like kendrick is trolling him at this point but he also says he has even more tracks in the in the backlog so do i think anything more is gonna happen after this honestly i think drake would be dumb to respond at this point he already has a lot of fires he needs to put out especially when it comes to the miners because there are videos and really weird behavior drake has displayed on the internet that makes those allegations really scary and even more true now i know nothing is proven yet either way uh, but we will definitely see what happens when receipts start to come out if they do so i'm recording this sunday it might come out monday but <laughs> a lot more could happen considering the pace this beef has gone at since it started a couple weeks ago as for who i think is winning i mean come on guys like kendrick has four fire tracks out against drake drake has two really good diss tracks and then a song with ai i do think up to family matters drake was really holding his own but i don't think you can come back from something like meet the grams i would argue it's even more shocking than something like a story of adidon even though that song revealed extremely shocking information just the sheer disgust and hatred for drake displayed in meet the grams is not something drake's gonna be able to top also a really bad look for drake is addressing the fact that he says he doesn't have a hidden daughter but he says nothing about the minors and pedo allegations within meet the grams just the bars everything that's gone on i think the beef can end right here i feel like it can and should end right here i kind of like that not like us sort of made the situation not seem as violent as it was and i know it's rat beef but but meet the grams had me genuinely concerned uh that this was gonna get deeper than rap and become as violent as like the tupac and biggie situation but that's my opinion let me know what you guys think in the comments this is absolutely rap history and i'm so excited that we were all able to experience this because people are going to be talking about this beef for years to come we're really lucky to be witnessing history guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video